I'm not gonna lie to you. If I just so happen to marry a very, very wealthy man and he's like, you know what? You don't have to work a day in your life ever again. I'm not going back to school. <laughs> I'm sorry I'm not. And I don't even feel bad for saying that. decided that I'm going to be dating myself. It sounds really sad actually. It sounds very sad. Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Hannah Monet. So today we are going to be getting ready for a solo date. So I just got off of work. It's like five o'clock and I decided that I want to get cute and dress myself up and feel really nice about myself and I don't want to have to have somebody ask me out on a date to do that so I'm going to get really cute and dressed up and take myself on a date so what I'm going to be doing first are my lashes because my lashes look really bad and I just feel like I look like a child without lashes on my face so I'm going to be putting on some lashes. So I have lash trays because I actually do lashes. So I have these little lash trays. Is it focusing? Ooh, there we go. I have like little lash trays or whatever. Um, but you know you're not supposed to use like the real lash extension glue. So I am just going to be using hair glue, which is a really bad idea, but I've done this before. And they last for like a good week and that's really all I'm looking for right now until I can get a lash appointment next week so I'm just gonna apply these cuz I'm tired of buying strip lashes I don't like wearing strip lashes so I'm going to put some lashes on okay so I actually have some makeup on so I need to take this mascara off of my eyes before I'm gonna use like some oil and just try and remove all this mascara because I don't even own any makeup wipes. I never use makeup wipes and now I'm like really regretting it. I'm trying to get all this mascara off of my eyes. I have no idea where I'm going. I just know that I'm going somewhere fancy and nice. Get me a little drinky drink and have fun. But yeah, like I was saying before, I just feel like you shouldn't have to have somebody ask you to go somewhere for you to get dressed up, feel pretty, and go have fun. Like I think the biggest thing for me used to be, I want to go do something, I want to go do this, I want to go do that, and there's literally like nobody to go with. Girl, just do it by yourself. Go along. Miss up. <laughs> I'm not even know I look like that. <laughs> oh my gosh. But seriously, you're gonna miss out on so much in life if you always wait on somebody to do something because nobody's really gonna always be on your wavelength. So, whoever needed to hear it, go do that thing you wanted to do. That you haven't done yet because you're waiting on somebody to go with you mm. okay now I can put on some lashes I haven't decided what I'm wearing yet but I do know it's gonna be cute <laughs> now I really haven't decided what I'm wearing yet and I, like it's so frustrating because I have so many clothes and I never know what to wear but I will say, I, lately, I have been very, 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 very addicted to, like, nude color clothing. I'm, like, so obsessed with it. I just think that it's so pretty and, like, aesthetically pleasing. Oh, my God. This is, like, a lot harder than I remember. I can't even tell it's on my freaking eye. Oh, yes, I can. It's cute. 
Okay, hopefully it actually stays though because it doesn't look like it's trying to stay anywhere. I'm about to just do big chunks because I really just don't have the time to sit here. But yeah, I'm like addicted to like that, that nude style that's like really popular right now. It's really like the clean girl aesthetic is really giving me because it's just, it's so aesthetically pleasing. And I used to dress like super colorful and super like, you know, just out there. But I don't really want to dress like that anymore. Like, and it might be with age too, because I am getting older. I should have brought my tape home. That's what I should have did, and tape my bottom lashes, because this is really annoying. So I'm like in the process of trying to build up a new wardrobe, but. Building a wardrobe is expensive, by the way, if you didn't notice or didn't realize. And especially if like you're not shopping at Shein, like, and Shein does like have some of the stuff that I want, but I'm starting to be like, let me go to Zara. Girl, Zara is expensive. I don't know about y'all, but I don't wanna spend all my coins on Zara. I'm sorry. They have beautiful things, don't get me wrong but all my coins no absolutely not I just feel like the dating pool right now for heterosexual women it's just it's not it it's really not and I think like a lot of people are starting to feel like they rather just be alone than deal with these people and their problems. And I'm like right there with them, honestly. Especially because like, if you actually enjoy your peace and your space and how your life already is, why in the world would I adopt a pest? Like I'm just saying, nobody would do that. So that's literally what the dating world feels like right now. And I have never in my entire life had to prove to people why I should be treated like a basic human being. Like that just blows my mind. People really want you to like prove yourself so they can treat you like a, like a person. And I don't know if it's like something that just became a thing, but that's insane to me. And maybe it's insane because I actually treat people like that. Like I treat them like humans when I meet them. So I expect people to like all have just like, I don't know, common decency and a lot of people don't. And it really blows my mind. And then I start to feel old cause I'm like, oh, this generation is so, but it's the truth. This generation is just so, it's not it, it's for real. And I'm definitely at the age where like, I'm really becoming who I am going to be in this life, if that makes sense. So I'm really just less tolerant of just dealing with people and their nonsense. I think it's very unfair that people that take the time to work on themselves and heal themselves have to deal with people who don't put in the effort to be their best self. That's what I think is very unfair. This is taking five ever, like for real. I'm halfway done with this eye though. And this is literally taking a lot longer than I thought it was gonna take me. I think I'm just gonna do the same length all the way across. I'm using 15 millimeter, by the way, just in case when you see my lashes, you like the length and wanna tell your lash tech or whomever, this is 15 millimeter. And I think I'm gonna do it just straight across all the way. Usually I do like a little cat eye and do like short to long on the outsides, but I'm not gonna lie, I'm just being lazy because I don't feel like pulling out another pack of lashes to do a different length. So I'm thinking about like starting back journaling and like really taking care of my mental state because I have like really been neglecting myself mentally and I really don't want to. <laughs> I used to like journal a lot Maybe about a year ago, I would try and journal like maybe once or twice a week. 
and I feel like it actually made a difference in like you know how I responded to like certain things that happened in my life and I really think that not journaling has also negatively affected me and I don't I don't necessarily feel like I'm reverting back to like who I was before I started growing as a person but I definitely do notice that like some things still trigger me that I don't want to trigger me that haven't triggered me since I started journaling that do now so I literally hate doing my lashes that's why I'm so sad I need to find a lash tech out here who can do my lashes because this makes me so sad I don't want to do this I have my lashes on now <laughs> this literally took me so long to do okay I was struggling and then something got in my eye so my eyes started watering and I thought the glue was gonna mess up but it didn't and I finally finished my lashes actually it took me 40 minutes so I thought it was gonna take me 20 but that's okay because I do my makeup fast so but now I'm about to do my makeup this is my favorite part <laughs> I already have like a little bit of makeup on right now but I'm gonna like do a full face and I haven't decided if I want to leave my hair like this and then just kind of slick my edges back and stuff I kind of like my hair like this this is like a different style for me I think after I do my makeup I'm gonna see so yeah so I'm gonna do my face I have a layer of the Fenty Beauty tinted moisturizer on my face so I'm just gonna leave it because it still has SPF in it but I like to slick my eyebrows down so you guys, I bought some relaxer, like hair relaxer, and I put it on my eyebrows because I live in a little wax city where there's like really nobody out here that, I'm not gonna say there's nobody, but there's not a lot of people that do like brow lamination and stuff like that. Not anybody that I want to do my brows, I'm not even trying to be funny or sound any type of way, but I'm just, I'm so scared to let somebody do something to my face and they don't know what they're doing. So I bought some relaxer and I put it on my eyebrows and then I put like some saran wrap on my face and like mushed it and let it stay on there for like 10 minutes, probably less than 10 minutes because my face was burning and I was so scared. But when I tell you my eyebrows have never been this nice before. I'm to the point now where I don't even fill in my brows. And I love that for me because I used to always have to fill in my brows. If I took my makeup off, my eyebrows were coming with it. And that's just, I don't want to live like that anymore. So I took charge. So I'm using a concealer from e.l.f. And honestly, I feel like they're giving Tarte a run for their money, like for real. When it comes to the tape shape. So if you're looking for a cheap alternative, this is a really good one. But anyways, so life update. I have been thinking about going back to school because your girl is about to get her physician's license, okay? So I do lashes and eventually like down the line, I want to also do like Botox and things like that. Because my dream is to own a med spa, like a beauty med spa. And so I want to do like the microblading, the Botox, the laser, literally all that stuff. And apparently, at least if I stay in Alabama, which is also kind of iffy because I don't want to stay here. But if I stay in Alabama, I have to have a physician's license to administer Botox. Especially if I want to like own the med spa and things like that I have to have a physician's license and I really thought that I could just go to school get my RN my BSN whatever and be good but no so I'm thinking about going back to school but if I do that that probably won't be till the spring semester and honestly I'm not even gonna lie I hate school okay like School is just really not for some people and I just happen to be one of those people. I genuinely hate school. Which is why I left the first time because it was just, 
I just, I don't know what it is. And sometimes I wish I could just like take some medicine that'll just like turn a switch off in my brain and make me just love it so I can just go and get it over with. But I literally hate school. But like, I like my dreams more than my hate for school. So I'm gonna have to just suck it up and deal with it. It's just, I really don't want to, but I'm going to so I can live the life that I want to live. So, because I really envy those people that are like, oh yeah, I'm working on my fifth degree. I'm just like, good for you. But it's just, it's very stressful. I'm not gonna lie to you. If I just so happen to marry a very, very wealthy man and he's like, you know what? You don't have to work a day in your life ever again. I'm not going back to school. <laughs> I'm sorry I'm not. And I don't even feel bad for saying that. Because obviously I'm going to do it. I'm going to go back to school. But if that were to happen to me, hey, that's not my problem anymore. I'm really trying to get back onto YouTube and actually being consistent. Because it is so hard, like... I don't know why some things in my life I just cannot be consistent with and YouTube just happens to be one of them and I really 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 want to break that habit and be consistent on YouTube because YouTube is really like my favorite platform when it comes to content creation it's just literally I need like I need the motivation to actually make the video I have to sit there and edit it for hours it's just a lot it's stressing me out now just thinking about it but okay Let's get this over with because I'm taking forever. Yikes, it's six o'clock. I think I am gonna leave my hair like this. Mainly because I just don't feel like doing it. It's a lot of extra work. And if I plug a flat iron in, if I have to plug a flat iron in, I'm just gonna go lay in the bed because I really don't wanna do that. I just feel like I need to change my demographic of like the people that I'm interested in. I don't know, I just feel like a lot of things in my life are changing and maybe I should change my interests as well. I feel like that could be a, a large part of my problem because I don't know, like dating outside of your race is, it's like it's different here where I live. I feel like if I lived in like a different city, it wouldn't be such a big deal, but it's kind of hard to do that if like that's what you're interested in in a place like this and I really think that I could be interested in like really dating outside of my race but I also don't want to have to conform to like being someone else that I'm not just so I can attract a certain kind of man because that's what I'm not going to do I'm definitely not going to change who I am just because I want somebody to like me I don't know. In Huntsville, Alabama, if I'm gonna attract a certain type of man, I literally have to like be in their social groups type of thing. I don't know, it's just different here. And I've been to other big cities and it's not like that. It's really not like that. I think I'm really ready to move and just relocate. Because I'm definitely interested in dating outside of my race and, I don't know, something different. Especially if the same thing isn't working for you, why do you keep doing the same thing? I think that's going to be like, I don't know, a new goal. Not a goal, I don't want to call it a goal because then it sounds like, oh, I'm just waiting for somebody to come and date me. No, okay, it's not what I mean. I guess that's a new, that's my new standard. Trying something different. Because the same old, same old is not gonna work. Like I said, as you grow as a person and change, you should change your interests and in what you do. And I don't know, make yourself step out of your comfort zone. Because I just feel like I'm too comfortable with a lot of things, and that's why I'm not as happy as I could be. Cause it's almost like I'm just settling for 
what I'm familiar with, I guess, what you could say. I need to, I'm really white right now. I'm going to contour my nose. I found out what I'm going to wear too. It's gonna be so cute. I'm trying this new aesthetic and I'm like really falling in love with it. It's kind of like the, I know you guys know like the soft girl life and clean girl and all that stuff. I'm trying that and I'm falling in love with it, honestly. And a lot of people were hating on it when people were saying like clean girl aesthetic, especially people on Twitter. Twitter is a hateful place, okay? If you ever want to be angry and just bring your spirits down, go to Twitter and post something because that will make you feel bad for being alive. Like, for real. But they were definitely really hating the clean girl aesthetic trend on Twitter. I don't understand the hate because I think it's cute. But that's like my new aesthetic right now. And I'm really liking it. So yeah, but I'm just gonna do like a light, a light little outfit because it's hot as heck outside. I'm gonna do like, the like leather shorts and a cute little, what is it called? I think they call it like an abstract tank top, whatever. And some heels and a cute little, little dainty purse. I think I'm gonna do that. I think that'll be nice. I have really made a nice little quick makeup routine because makeup used to take me like hours to do and I am just so in love with it because I can literally do my makeup in like 15 minutes because if somebody invited me somewhere oh I need two hours to get ready that used to be me I used to need two hours to get ready an hour for makeup 30 minutes for hair 30 minutes of figure out what I'm gonna wear it's just, I used to be exhausted or it would stress me out when somebody would tell me to get ready to go somewhere. Because I knew it was going to take forever to get ready to go. Oh my god, I feel amazing. Let me set my face. I like to like super soak my face. Because I don't know why I just feel like this specific setting spray, the Morphe, it just literally i feel like i look different now after just spraying my face i don't know what that's about i'm definitely gonna leave my hair like this because i've already put in too much effort towards my lashes and now it's six o'clock oh let me show you guys my nails they're so cute i did them myself and i just love them they're so cute okay i think i'm ready to go y'all know i gotta use my drugstore lip gloss I die by that. I die by that. But yeah, I like these lips. Okay, guys. So let me show you the, the pants first, okay? These are the shorts. I've actually worn these before, but these are so cute. And I will never get rid of them because I love these. They're so comfortable. And they're they're little leather shorts. And then this is a little abstract top I was talking about. I think I got this from Sheen, actually. But it's really cute and then this little bag is really cute too this is not how the straps are supposed to be i've made it this way like i tuck it in the thing and then i'm gonna hold it like that because this is like a long bag like it's long on the side so i wanted like a little dainty little black bag and i don't have a dainty black bag so i just did this and i think it's really cute like that so yeah and then these are the shoes I'm going to wear. Little green shoes. I tried black polish on my toes and it's not giving what I thought I was going to give. But I think it's going to look really cute with this outfit and these shoes. So I'm really excited to see what that's going to look like. So I'm going to get dressed real quick and then I will be back to fix my edges. Okay guys, the outfit is really, really cute. I really like it. I'm going to move it down so you guys can actually see but... This is like, <laughs> let me move it down. So this is what the outfit is giving. Oh my gosh, why is the camera like shaking like that? This is what the outfit is giving though. Really cute. I just feel super cute in this. Um, and then it matches my nails perfectly. Like everything just is 
really complement each other. And I think my shoes are gonna really match this too. I have these rings. I don't know if you can actually see these. I have these rings. I'm like really addicted to clear rings right now. Don't even know where that came from, but clear rings are it right now, okay? I'm about to take some pictures too when I go out and just set my little tripod up and everything. Definitely leaving my hair like this, obviously. I don't even think I'm gonna touch it up because I kind of like when my edges aren't like super, super slicked. So, yeah. Okay, you guys, if you can't tell, I'm very happy that this whole situation worked out. <laughs> so, yeah. So I'm about to get ready to go, but I just wanted to do like a formal outro and just say thank you for watching this video if you got this far. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and yeah, stay tuned on my Instagram for pictures. Um, make sure you follow me on Instagram because I also post on that platform. But yeah, I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you guys in my next video.